more rounds have passed here at the European Team Chess Championship and we're going to start by looking at the action from round four. Starting with the open section where we had a massive upset on board one as Hungary beat top seeds and defending champions Russia thanks to a win by Viktor Erdos over Jan Nepomniachtchi. On board two we had a draw between Germany and Poland and on board three Croatia beat Israel thanks to a win by uh, Bosjocic uh, against Rothstein. In other news, on board five there was a big upset as the young team from Turkey beat Ukraine two and a half, one and a half thanks to a win by Vahab Sanal uh, over Yuri Kuzibov. Meanwhile, in the women's section, we had a 2-2 draw between Spain and Poland, a match in which all four boards ended decisively. On board two, uh, there was a big clash between the top seed Russia and the second seed Georgia, a match which was won by the defending champions from Russia two and a half, one and a half, thanks to win by Katarina Lachno and Valentina Gonina. On board three, the young team from Italy beat the Netherlands three to one. In round five, in the open section, Hungary drew Armenia on board one, a match in which all four boards ended peacefully. On board two, Croatia continued their fantastic run by beating Germany two and a half, one and a half, and once again, Bosjocic was the hero of the day as he beat Matthias Blubaum. On board three, Poland beat Belarus three to one, and while also you might want to check out a game which was played on board five in the match between Azerbaijan and the Czech Republic where Shakhir Mamedyarov won a very nice game on top board against David Navarro. In the women's section, the team from Russia continued their perfect run as they beat Spain 3-1 thanks to wins by Katarina Lachno and Alexandra Goryachkina. On board two, there was a 2-2 draw between Italy and Poland, a match in which all four boards ended in a draw. And on board three, we had a whitewash, a perfect 4-0 win by Georgia against the ladies from Armenia. In round six, Croatia's fantastic run was brought to a halt by the team from Hungary as they beat them very convincingly, three and half, half. Uh, on board two, the Russian men bounced back as they beat Poland two and half, one and half, thanks to a win by Jan Nepomniachtchi over Duda. On board three, we had a thriller of a match between Armenia and Azerbaijan, a match which uh, the Azeri men eventually managed to decide in their favor thanks to a late win by Rauf Mamedov over Hunt Melkumian. Uh, on board one from that match, uh, Levan Aronian had scored a very nice victory over Shakhyar Mamedyarov, thus overtaking him uh, in the live standings once again, reclaiming his number two life spot. In the women's section, on the top board, we had a 2-2 draw between Poland and Russia. All four games ended in a draw, but uh, there was a little luck involved on board four, where Claudia Coulon failed to convert a winning endgame against Alexandra Goryachkina. Uh, but the Polish ladies managed to stop the perfect run of the Russian ladies so far. On board two, Georgia continued their winning streak by beating Ukraine two and a half, one and a half, thanks to a win by Nino Batsiashvili over Natalia Zhukova. And finally, on board three, the young ladies from Italy continued their fantastic performance as they beat Turkey three to one with uh, wins by Elena Zimina and Desiree Di Benedetto. As for the standings, in the Open we now have two leaders, the team from Hungary and Russia, who are both on 10 points. Then in shared third and fourth place, the teams from Azerbaijan and Croatia, who are trailing by just one point, with nine points. In the women's section, meanwhile, the Russians continue to be the sole leaders, although not on a perfect score any longer. They now have 11 points. They are followed in sole second place by Georgia on 10 points. And finally, three teams share the third to fifth places, the teams from Spain, Poland and Italy. Three rounds remain here at the European Team Championship, so make sure to follow the action as things are just going to become more and more intense from here.